Okay, so I'm going to continue on with day 17 because, you know, it's already a mess. And I found inspiration from this doodle that I did. I think it's either this year or last year. But this is based on someone else's artwork that I like off of um, Pinterest and from Instagram. Let me go find her name. I know part of her name, but I got to remember the other part. Okay, so I found it on Instagram. Her name is Beck Blair, and she's from Northern Ireland. Ireland. Um, she does the most wonderful doodles. Oh, the light from the... I can't see it. But anyway, it's on, she's on Instagram. She's also... Some of her stuff's on Pinterest, too. So I've been following her for a few years now, and I like to do her line doodles where it's just different... I think that's what this one is. You know, different things like, like that. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. And this is... All these things like this are based on her artwork. So... I had an idea while I was waiting for my scan disk to load onto the computer. I have lots of these little pieces like this. So while I was waiting for it to load, I carved this one. And you can't see it because I need to go clean it off. But it's lots of teeny lines. That's all it is. Nothing but lines. So then I thought, well, let me, let me try another one. So uh, while I was waiting, again, I did this one. Yes, my fingers are filthy. So what will happen is, I'm thinking, well, we'll see, is that I will do a line of this, a line of this, and I need to come up with some other, I might have to do it this way because I don't want to use long lines of the pad. But here's this, and then it'll go this, than this, and I have this one. It's really hard carving that small. This one I tried, did not go well, but I'll flip it on the other side and use it. So I was trying to, oh, there it is, all loaded. Um, I was trying to find something on here that I could use for an example to, um, to kind of work on the line work, repetitive line work. And I'm looking through here. I don't know if I did any more of her stuff in here. So I just go on Pinterest and look at other people's stuff. And then I try to replicate it or put my spin on it. Like stuff like this. I like this kind of stuff. You know, because like, look, this is crazy. This is not um, Beck Blair stuff. But I think she's under the name of Blair Illustration. This kind of thing is what I like. So I thought I might try to use this for my inspiration and take some of these little things out of here with the leftovers that I have and then put them together in little blocks on the jelly plate. So probably will not complete day 17 right away because I'm going to continue accumulating scraps and then I will do the jelly print using all those little scraps to make something that looks like this. It might only be like one square like this, but I thought I would use my scraps because I said they don't get the respect they deserve. Plus it helps me preserve um, my big piece of rubber for larger pieces like the two by twos or three by three sort of stuff. If I can do little pieces like this that add up to a larger piece, I think that would be good. All right, so let me go in my drawer and dig around to see if I can find smaller strips or things I can cut in strips and probably fast forward through all of it and then I'll do the jelly print and then I'll do the recap.
morning, everyone. This is Vicki from Musty Table Studio. I recorded and carved three videos yesterday. Um, and poof, at about three o'clock, I quit. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see, day eight. Oh, day 17. Let me do a recap. So day 17 was an amalgamation of different stamps that I wanted to use because um, I like Blair Illustrations doodles, and that was the inspiration for this. And then day 18, I did this, which were larger versions of kind of the same thing. So let me show you the paper. Here are all the stamps. <laughs> That's a lot to do. These are scraps, so I'm just saying that, you know, just because it's little doesn't mean it can't make an impact on your art. There we go. I did clean them off and let them dry in the drain rack. All right, so here is, oh, well, let's do day 17 stuff. So this is day 17. That is this one right here. Oh, I'm sorry, the light, you can't see it. There we go. Let me move these out of the way. It's really dark for me moving my light, but at least I know what I'm doing today. All right, the next one is this. 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 And this. And we're missing some, what are we missing? We're missing this guy. And then we're missing this guy. And where's the other one? Uh, this one from here, I put on here also. So that's the, that's all of the stamps right there like that. And then I just did another version of the same thing later, jelly print after I finished carving all these. Then I did this. All right, so because I like the Blair illustration stuff. I did this one that has all these little small jiggies. Let's see, this is this one. We have this one. Well, this one has two on it. I'm not sure how successful or how I feel about it, but that's this. Then that's this one. What else have I got? Um, we did this one, uh, nope, that's not, oh, uh, nope, yep, nope, yep, nope, I don't know. <laughs> I think this might be this one. Nope, it's this one, right there. The, there's no X's, no circles, no triangles, and, uh, let's see, did I do this one on there? No. So this is a combination of the smaller stamps that I carved. These are all leftovers. I went digging through my leftovers and that's that's the story from that. This one is strictly this sheet and I just turned them different directions. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it can't make a beautiful design. Then this is this one, which I really, really like. I'm into circles, I like the circle look. There's that. And then this one, which I was so surprised at how much I liked it. Where is the stamp? It is none, oh, here it is. That's this one. That's it. That's all that is. It's just going different directions with simple lines like that. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so that is day 17 and day 18. So if I carve today, it will be day 19. I'm getting closer to, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm no closer than I was before <laughs> trying to catch up. So you can spend time with me and for day 19 while I <sighs> try to catch up.